Verse number 14, thus I was as a man that heareth not and in whose mouth are no reproofs. He's not correcting the wicked anymore. And that's also another thing that happens when you start getting sin and get involved in sin yourself. It becomes a lot harder to, to, to be able to judge and, and give reproofs when it's needed because now it's like, well, who am I? Look what I'm doing, right? Now, if you could live that example and, and be walking in the Spirit, then great. You can, you can help people through reproofs because that's the point of a reproof, by the way, too, is to help them. Not to make yourself feel good about yourself because they're doing something bad. It's to help them. Have charity. Do it for the right reason. Verse 15, For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. Thou wilt hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt. And my sorrow is continually before me. In verse 18, this is the solution. This is the answer to the sin problem. For I will declare mine iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. The contrition, the sorrow, and the repentance that comes from your sin is when you're going to start being able to heal and recover from your sin and get out of the situation where everything is going wrong and you're being chastised and punished. And God will then start to show mercy and be there for you. But you have to have that attitude. Don't let the chastisement of the Lord and the bad things that happen drive you away from God. Let them drive you to Him. Amen. And turn to Him and declare your iniquity. Just admit that you've done wrong. And, and there are so many people that this is a number one problem for them is being able to ever admit that they've done wrong. And, you know, unfortunately, if you didn't learn that as a kid, it's just going to be even harder when you're an adult. The kids need to learn to just accept, hey, I've done wrong. And you know what? If you can do, kids, th this is going to go a long way for you. If you could admit to your parents honestly, not deceitfully, honestly own your mistakes. I've done wrong. I am sorry. Your life will be a lot better at home. Your punishments will be diminished. The mercy will be increased when you can admit and apologize and say, I'm sorry for what I did. And you know what? If you can have an attitude like that, that's humble, that's not going to be stiff necked. You're not going to be rebellious. That will help you as you grow into adulthood and maintain a humble attitude. So that way, you know, maybe you get on job or anywhere else in life to be able to just still admit that you've done wrong. It's going to help you. Because when you can't do that, it kind of makes people angry. The same way it makes a father angry when the child is not willing to admit, like, look, I caught you. This is what you did. You know it's not right and it's wrong and they still just don't want to accept that, oh, there's always an excuse, right? No one wants to hear that. No one wants to hear that from their kids and no one wants to hear that from anyone else when they've done wrong. Just own it. Don't lie. Don't backpedal. Don't give me all the excuses. Apostle Paul wasn't giving excuses for his sin. David's not giving excuses for his sin. He's saying, you know what? I'm going to declare mine iniquity. There it is, God. I'm, I did it. I'm guilty, and I'm going to be sorry for my sin. The Bible says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Don't try to cover up what you've done wrong. Just confess it to God. Say, God, I did this. I can't hide it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it again. Forsake it. 